Hi, this is Sarah, the Stitchin' Mommy, and I'm here for my weekly update. It's October 30th, um, almost Halloween. It, hopefully this video will be really short. I don't have a whole lot um, to share today. Um, but yeah, so we'll be trick-or-treating tomorrow um, with the kids, so they're excited about that. And this week has been really busy. I've had a lot of stuff with school that I've needed to do um so not as much stitching as I would have hoped but still a little bit um so I'll show you what I've done I still haven't dyed fabric because I've just been busy with other things so um we'll see I don't really know how this week is going to shape up as far as giving me time to be alone and do it. I don't really want to have a lot of distraction when um, when I'm trying to dye fabric. So I need like an hour to myself, which is a little bit hard to come by. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, first off, I wanted to share a little um, pasta stash that I received from Lori Mischievous Stitches. Um, she was showing in one of her videos a while back this pattern, Give Thanks, it's called The Lord's Blessing. It says, Give Thanks for Family, Friends, and The Lord's Blessings, which I really liked um, that it brought in The Lord's Blessings because a lot of the Thanksgiving stuff doesn't really, it's just generic. So I really liked that, and it was cute. Um, and it also came with a little acorn button that you can put on there. Looks like, looks like it's right in the middle there. Um, but I was like, oh, that's really cute. And she, it was a whip. She had as um, had been working on it, and then decided that she was gonna not stitch it anymore and pass it to me. I think she was originally gonna pass it to me when she was done, and then decided she just was gonna stop and give it to me early. <laughs> so. A little sad she didn't finish it, but she probably has a lot of other things that she would rather stitch, and I know how that goes. Um, <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> First, I'll show you my Frosted Pumpkin greetings from the park cell. I did a little bit this weekend. I decided not to work on my temperature garden this weekend because I really wanted to get more progress on this one because I don't want it to be down to the wire trying to finish it. And I know I have a couple more weekends to work on it. But our Broncos game is tonight for Monday Night Football. So <clears throat> I'll probably work on my temperature garden during that game tonight. So next week you'll for sure have a little bit of progress on that. Maybe, maybe even more because by next week I should be able to have all of October finished. So that's two more flowers. Um, but I worked on this one. Greetings from the park. Clue 2 is what I'm working on right now. And here's what it looked like last time. And here it is now. I'm filming early today because I have a busy day ahead of me. So I, I hope... It seems like the picture's grainier because it's dark in here. And I moved where I was sitting because I was trying to get better lighting. So hopefully you can see that alright. <clears throat> I put in a few more... Um, colors. I decided to go back and forth between the two pictures and pick like the next color that just happened to be coming along. So I've got the light gray in both of these done. I've got the red which is only here and then the black because um, I wanted the bird. I think the black was the next color. So then I did black everywhere. So now you can see everybody's little eyes. And then, instead of coming back and doing the gray next, I did the orange next because the little cardinal looked like he needed to be finished. So, I did that orange and this orange and their beaks. This sky is supposed to be solid orange, but it was too stark for me. It's supposed to be a sunset. So, I blended this pink and this orange and into a blend. And I like the um, I like how the subtlety of that to be more like a sunset. 
So that's what I did there. And then I went back and just got started on this dark gray. So there, there, there'll be more dark gray right here, more right here. Um, there's more in these mountains. There might be more. There's a little bit down here, like one of his fins or something. So, um, oh, and I keep forgetting to, to look it up. This is a manatee. This is a cardinal, clearly. There's a little peccary here, colored peccary. Had some other name that they called it, I can't remember. These little birds, I keep forgetting to look them up, what kind of birds they are. So hopefully next week I'll have looked them up. <laughs> and I was hoping to look it up before my video and I still continued to forget to look that up because I, I was curious and I wanted to share it with you what the little birds were called. Oh yeah, and then because this little cardinal was done and these little birds looked so sad before I did the gray I did the white because white that was the only place there were white cross stitches so I just went ahead and did the little white birds so they looked a little bit more done and normal looking rather than just beaks and eyes in the middle of the world <clears throat> in the middle of nowhere so then I worked on Royal Holiday Hi, go play and got a, got a good amount done, not quite as much as I would have hoped, but um, still progress. So here's what it looked like last time. And here she is now. Hopefully it's, you can still see her. Um, so she's coming along. As you can see, I worked down here in her the bottom of her cape. So a lot of those lighter pinks and reds that are pinks and burgundies that are <clears throat> the folds of her dress. And the darker shades are coming in now. I'm, I still need to do the darker shades of burgundy. And then the various shades of grays and whites and gold bling will also be down here. So probably still at least a couple more weeks on this at the rate it's taking me. Um, something I wanted to mention too is I'm a Mirabilia girl. Um, I've had a lot of um, not really, I mean assumptions I guess lately of that I would also like lavender and lace which is a reasonable assumption. Um, However, mo there's actually not that many lavender and lace charts that I like. <clears throat> there's a few, and I have stitched a few, and but there's, I think the biggest thing, there's two big things. I, I'm not a fan of angels in artwork, just not the focus that I'm interested in. Um, so lavender and lace has a lot of angels, not interested in stitching angels. Um, then there's just the look of the blending and the way the fabric folds. I, I prefer Mirabilia like hands down over any of the other special ladies in how she does her fabric shading and the, the, way, the way it looks is just a lot more natural. So in general, given the two designers, I would pick Mirabilia, um, not to say that I'll, I never stitch lavender and lace because I do have a few, but in general they're not not really a favorite um, designer. They're a, they're okay. Like I have a few of their charts, but um, that's just me. <laughs> that's just what I've found over the years. That a lot of their designs, I'm just like, eh, no, you know, it doesn't really ring all the ring all the bells for me. Um, this coming week will be. November on Wednesday, so I'll get to put this into my little um, frame on Wednesday. <clears throat> and then normally I would do my next one on the first week of the month or the weekends, which Frosted Pumpkin has now taken over the weekends. Um, <clears throat> I'm still working on Royal Holiday. I still want to get her done. So I'm thinking I'm not sure when I'm going to do this. Um, 
is I have all month of, dis of November to work on it. And I had been doing it at the beginning just to make sure it got done. But I have my secret stitch in the car that sh the, the due date is coming due fairly soon. So maybe I'll work on this when that's done. Or if I finish the pumpkins on the weekends and I still have some time, then maybe I'll work on this then. I'm not really sure. Um, I have too many things that I want to finish, but this is also one of them. So <clears throat> I don't know. You'll wait and see. Because when I finish some of those other projects, like when I finish this, if I had weekend time, I wanted to start falling leaves and work on that with Dawn, Frosty X Stitch. So maybe when my car project is done, I'll work on this in the car. That that might end up happening. But I'll show you my progress, because this isn't a secret. So when my secret stitch is done and gifted, um, I'll share that with you. And then when, when that's finished and I have car time, then I'll work on the joyful world in the car and show you each week how far I'm getting on that. I have to go now. I have to take my daughter to preschool. But... Um, I have not done that much planning, updating of my plans anyways for, for next year. <clears throat> Again, not a whole lot of time for extra frivolous things. Just kind of stewing, making sure I still like my idea. I keep hearing other people's ideas and being like, oh, that's a great idea. Oh, maybe I should try that. Hmm, what do I think about that? And then I realize, stay focused. <laughs> I already tried short bursts short bursts of a rotation at the beginning of last tube when I started at the beginning of the year didn't work for me um working such a long time on royal holiday is kind of good um but I also do like working on all a lot more of my things so I think I'm gonna be firm and stick with my plan where I have a different project every week um and a few things will be worked on every, like, more than once in the year, but every week I'll switch. Because that just seems to be a good style for me, and I need to remember what my stitching preferences can be, and not be always swayed by other people's stitching preferences. Even though they sound cool, I need to, like, rein it in, rein my thoughts in, and be like, that works for them. But really, would that work for me, and would I be happy doing it that way? So I have to remember... And constantly reevaluate and remind myself, I've tried this and this and this, and I didn't really like it as much as this other way. So I just have to kind of remember, you know, not to get off track. <laughs> so hope that re helps you too if you're thinking of plans and you. Floss tube is great with lots of ideas, um, but if you've tried some of the ideas and they don't work for you, then it's okay to just not do them, not try them again, not be tempted by them again because you already know it's not really the best for you and we're all so different so anyways with that I hope you had a nice um, week of stitching as well and got a lot done I'm a little bit more caught up on floss tube I think I'm only six days behind so um, that's better hopefully I'll keep chipping away and get a little bit just a couple days behind it's kind of where I like to be so there's always something to watch but you're not super far behind um, <clears throat> I guess that's it. Happy stitching. Talk to you later.